Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World. Um, I had a few requests from a lot of ladies asking how I made the scene on this particular card. There is a video tutorial uh, down below showing how to make the actual shape of the card, but they wanted to see this made, so that's what I'm doing today. So you're going to need your piece of card, whatever is going to fit. You decide what size of card. I'm making this one for a different shape card. So it measures just under four inches wide by five and a half deep. And it's just a wisp of white plain or night card. What you're going to need is three particular stamp sets. Um, this one I'm using the pine cone out of it. This one set of petals. This one is Winter Woods. I'm using the tree out of it. And in Nature's Beauty, I'm using the pair of trees here. Uh, you're also going to need a circle for your moon. Um, so I'm using scraps of paper. This is very thin paper. So I suggest when you, if you are using thin paper, to put two sheets together when you're popping it in to a two inch uh, circle punch. And just set them in the middle. Um, punch it out so you'll have these for your your moon to do the outside and you'll have the inside circle if you want to add a separate color to your moon instead of white and the only other things you need is your brushes sponges or whatever uh, torn paste, scrap pieces as you can see I have loads of them here just keep them until they're really falling apart but just keep any scraps of copy paper and just tear whatever shape you're going for you know, higher mountains, lower mountains, steps are more or less straight. It's entirely up to you. There's one that does a really sweeping down one, which I did use, I think, for the snow at one stage. So you need a couple of those to say in your own design. Uh, the three colours I used were Pacific Point, which is the one that goes um, sort of the snowy areas a wee bit lighter. The green was used, the olive green was used for the pine cones and some of the background trees as you can see there I have actually stamped these up in misty moonlight and then did some green ones in the background so that's what we're going to do you might also want to and this one I spread it um, with a bit of water just and then sponged it up just to give that sort of a snowy blotchy effect that's entirely up to yourself too so we're going to start here and see how we get on uh, we'll start with our moon and get it done. So you need it to sit in the centre and if uh, it's not, if you haven't used the wee sticky notes, this is just paper, it may not stick so well and what I usually use would be a two-way glue pen. And I just put a wee bit of it round, just you don't want too much of it on, you just want it to hold it and no more, just spread that out. And we're going to stick it on before it dries so that it's not, I don't want it real sticky. I'm actually going to take some off with my hand there. It's just to hold it in place for you. So decide where you want your moon. I'm going to go sort of towards the top. And then we're going to go in with our misty moonlight. And our blue. I have a larger blue brush and a smaller, smaller one. No, it's black here. Blue, I'll get there eventually. Quite a difference. But if you're doing big areas, the bigger one um, is much quicker and better for you. For more detail, use your smaller one. And have yourself a page that you can dab off some of the colour because you don't want to oversaturate it. And you're not going down below yet, but you could put one of your chosen... Um, hills or snow mounds whatever you want to call them just decide what you want i think i'll actually go for the smoother one and we'll keep it just here so that i don't go below there to let me get this part done so just step it into your ink get it well inked up if it's dry if you've been using it recently you won't need to go too hard and just start on the outside. Never start right onto the white or you'll end up with those blotches. Start out here and just work your way in. Give yourself a bit of room here. And you can see that has picked up a right bit of ink because it's the bigger brush. So 
So just work your way in. Just making sure that your moon doesn't move. And you can keep going back and ink them up more, but always start from the outside. And bring it just in closer to your moon. Depends on how dark you're going for. Is it a night time or is it just coming up to night time, you know, dusk or whatever. It's just one of those techniques you just have fun with. Now, we're going to go down into our wee snowy sort of areas. You want to sort of leave uh, an area where you can plunk your wee trees. So use one of your hills that's going to be where you want your trees just picking onto that. So I'm going to sort of go right here. And I should actually went in and actually will go in. I'm going to use this ink up around the edges just and then I'm going to go on with a smaller brush. Just to give me more control over these smaller areas. And again, start on your paper, put them all, and just go up over the top a wee bit. And if you want to check, keep uh, a hold of it so it's not going to go anywhere in case you want to set it back down. And see if you're getting a deep enough gauge, it's not too bad. So I'm going to leave that and that has given you your first um, we sort of dips and I might change now to a flattish one. And you can just tilt and turn it to what suits you. Go back in again with your ink, dab it off onto your paper and then go. You can see it coming up nicely just we don't want it really dark blue we want it kind of but you can see a lot of snow as well so this will probably be <clears throat> excuse me the last one so dab it off swish it on it's just very gently you're not leaning hard you're just brushing over it and not too much above your line so that you're getting that nice clear white in between and you can see that gives it a nice wee snowy effect. So we we'll want to do a bit of stamping now and see how that goes. And you can go back in with this and top it up and grind your edges more whenever you're ready. We're going to go with the trees, which uh, we'll use the big one first. That's going to go here. We're off, stamping it off the page. So I'm just going to ink it up in the... Misty moonlight, which is really crazy dark, so it gives that nice, like midnight blue look of the trees. Now, I'm bringing this right down so the point is below, below is your moon. And you can see that's really striking. <sighs> I've actually got ink splats everywhere. How to do that? So we can't use that again because you can see once you go off the edge of your page, you've got a line, so you can't do a, a secondary stamp there. So you need to clean it off. I can remember where my cleaner is. good idea to clean this stamp off anyway because if you if it's a juicy pad like this one is you're inclined to get ink around the edges and you don't want that coming up on your um your paper so we're going to ink this up again i'm going to ink the top part of it because i'm not going down as far this time and we're just going to pop it low down about here and this time we can actually go in a wee bit of a darker one, if you fancied. Let me just put it here. 
that actually looks like it's behind it and the other one uh, I might actually ink it up and then add green over the top of this but I really don't want that dark so I'm stamping off for sure and then going back in here just between the two heights so you're about here with this one and just a wee gentle press so it's very light so we can wash this off and we can go in with a bit of green now so we'll close this up and just hold it off again just ink it up a wee bit and try and go over that doesn't have to be directly over it. In fact, I might just stamp off first and then go over it because I don't want it real in your face green. It's just to add a wee tiny bit of colour to it. Just like so. Now we need to um, do the other trays. And again, we're going to need the... Well, we'll use the green that's opened at the minute. So... <clears throat> The other stamp we're looking is this one, which is out of the point set of petals. And we're going to ink it up in green. And we're just going to do it. We need to peel off our... Do you know what? I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to go with the wee small one because... No, no, I can do both. I'll take it off. Just peel it gently. That went too sticky on it, which is something you have to be very careful of. I'm going to flip my sheet over because it's a bit messy. I have got wee specks of ink and these things are going to happen and you just have to be ready for them. So I'm going to use a wee sticky lifter to give me a cleaner moon there. Take only that residue glue away. Just be careful what glue you do use to get your nice crisp look. So where were we? Where is that we sent? These wee trays are going to be in the misty moonlight. Now I wanted these to sit on the wee mound here that I have. So you're sort of laying in your wee lines up. so have got a wee dot in there but I'll try and add something later to cover that up there's always something to fix your mistakes so now that we've got that off we need to go back to our old olive and this particular stamp And we're just going to stamp it so that it comes right over and say if you have any marks in your moon make sure you stamp on that so it's covering any mistakes that you've made and you want them sort of hanging down this direction and remember to use the secondary stamp so that you get a nice lighter look behind it and just keep doing that things are looking good for you just play around with it have fun with it. um could use that up there we're going to darken all this down with a wee bit of the misty moonlight later just to show you how far you can go with it. So I want some more coming down over towards our trees here. One more wee bit. I think I'll actually maybe go one more wee tip up there. This is the trouble, knowing when to stop. We 
which I don't seem to know. I just sort of wanted them like a peeping out there at the moon. But now it looks a wee bit washed out to me with the lighter green because it's so dark. So I'm going to go in with the Misty Moonlight. Wash that off. And then just go in with the same stamp and choose where you want this darker bit coming. And again, you can use a bit of the second stamping just to add that more depth and remember you're going to go over all these edges more with ink and that brings it all down again too whoops you can see how it does start to make it look darker and more full Maybe I'll add one more up here. I think I'm going to leave that now. And as I say, you can always go back in. So go back in with your. This is the space for your sentiment. We're going back in with our uh, misty moonlight now to ink up all those edges. And we're going right down to the bottom this time. And round the top, we're going really, really deep with it. So nearly turn the corner, that dark blue. You could go in with native navy if you wanted to bring it right down. Just don't go into your, your moon. Just be careful if you get overzealous. Stick your mask back on there we we'll want to really darken this whole corner here Just keep building it up until you're happy yourself with the look you're going for. Down the bottom you could go a shade lighter, which would be your Pacific point. I'm going to go with the lighter blue. Just wash that dark off it. These wee brushes are just from Amazon, they're makeup brushes, so they're easily got, or just go with your sponges. That just adds a wee lightness to your bottom there. And that's more or less it. You can, um, you actually could go around your moon there with this lighter colour too if you felt like it. Whoops. So it's sort of radiating a nice lightness, but still blue. With your um, punched out bit, you could set that on top and add a yellowy color to the moon which I might do just to show you the difference we'll go with the maybe so saffron and a brush try and keep a brush for each uh, individual color and then you'll always have a clean brush to work with so pop this right over your thing and take a lot of the ink up, or uh, yeah, ink. You don't want it too yellowy. Just use what you've on that just to give it a wee tint. You 
can see that gives it a nice wee it's hard to see in that light but there is a nice wee yellowy glow of it now if you've any other stamps or like wee tiny birds or whatever to cover your any mistakes you make you can go for that if you want to i keep a spray bottle an old spray bottle of water so you can spray quick just quick and keeping it sorted to the one side letting it sit for a few seconds to you see the color coming out of your um your ink see that i'm not sure if you can but if you do it yourself you'll see it and then just press your paper on and lift any dampness away you can maybe see it better now so there's a lot of different variations you can go with um stamp your sentiment there i haven't chosen one for this particular one because i'm not sure what i'm putting it onto so that's more or less it you can go in now with your um maybe add a bit of color to the trees keeping one edge of it sort of white with the snows hitting it or the light of the moon's hitting it but if you wanted to add just a wee bit of depth you can do that you can also go in with well you could even use this one go back in with your one of your um mats and go straight there if you can so that you can ground these that they're not they don't look like they're floating gives it a wee bit of land to sit on And you can do that in any colour you want, whatever. So just keep enjoying it, having fun, doing whatever you want to it. And add, and you can go in with your colour there as well. And add some colour to the pine cones. And that makes them pop a wee bit more. I'm just using, um, what do you call it? Dark soft suede. So just keep building up your areas and going over it with whatever, adding a white gel pen down here, go over the whole lot with your Wink of Stella to add a bit of glistening, you know, just have fun, just keep building and building and go on and just pick up your scraps, your circles for your moons, keep everything that you have until they're tattered and then get rid of them and make fresh ones. So hope you understood that okay. It's uh, close enough. As I say, every time you do it, it's going to come out entirely different. So it depends what look you're going for. I want much darker this time than this one. So just go whatever. Um, search you and have fun with all your stamps. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later. Bye.